It's Christmas, and I know when I mention Will Ferrell this time of year, you're probably picturing him in his Buddy the Elf attire. But in reality, Will is one of Saturday Night Live's most acclaimed alumni, which is a huge accomplishment in itself. Given Will's diverse and long-running success, it shouldn't be a surprise that he's afforded himself some charming properties on both the West and the East Coast. While Buddy the Elf was a stranger to Manhattan, Will is the complete opposite, and since this city is the hub of SNL, he's long been familiar. We'll take a look at Will's two houses, one in California and one in New York. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. John William Farrell, aka Will Farrell is an actor, comedian, producer, writer, and businessman who first established himself in the 90s as a cast member on Saturday Night Live. After his success on SNL, Will more or less skipped the sitcom stage that was typical of the show's alumni and jumped right into the world of movies. He anchored 2000s comedies that are now iconic like Old School, Anchorman, Step Brothers, and much more. Most of these movies Will also co-wrote with his comedy partner Adam McKay and the pair further founded the comedy website Funnier die in 2007. Will has also starred in family-friendly films like the Christmas classic Elf, which was released in 2003. It's one of my all-time favorite holiday movies, I must admit. Will is considered to be a member of the Frat Pack, a generation of leading Hollywood comic actors from the late 90s and early 2000s, alongside the likes of Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, and the Wilson Brothers, just to name a few. While these days, Will has a net worth of about $160 million, he couldn't always afford luxury homes. Before he made his fortune, he owned a little two-bedroom house on the West Coast and a smaller apartment in New York City, which was one of his first big buys after SNL. His first Upper East Side apartment was a far cry from his current loft there, but he still made a nice profit when selling the place thanks to his famous name. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and it's Christmas, so I wanted to make sure today's house tour had a bit of a holiday spirit. While we aren't looking at Buddy the Elf's home in the North Pole, we are looking at the homes of the comedian who portrays him, Will Ferrell, including his properties in LA and New York City. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. One of the two homes Will currently owns is his $9.9 .9 million mansion in Los Angeles, California, which is also the first one he bought. He actually got the home from none other than notorious house flipper Ellen DeGeneres back in 2007, and it's located on about 2.5 acres of land. Unlike many of Ellen's other house projects, she actually used to live in this one. Will lives on Woodstock Road, which is in the Laurel Canyon neighborhood of LA, high up in the famed Hollywood Hills. While we don't have updated photos, listing materials at the time of purchase give a pretty good idea of what Will's house looks like inside. It spans 4,769 square feet with four beds and 4.5 baths in total. His sprawling property is actually made up of three separate land parcels. It's described as a private gated compound with a country feel just moments from the main strip. He has a gorgeous main house as well as a guest house and pool house with two beds and a bath. Elsewhere on the estate, there's even some sort of recreation building and another structure that appears to be a screened in outdoor living and dining room. Will's main house was built back in 1939 and renovated since, and I hope renovated again because from the previous pics, the designs looked outdated in some of the rooms. Interiors include large public rooms, such as a bright great room with wall of windows, a media room, and a kitchen with double ovens and stainless steel appliances. From what we can see, the master suite is spacious and there's also a second bedroom suite. It looks like Will's main master has a room size closet with plenty of built-in organization too. In the recreation building, there's a porch area and a larger space with a pool table, which seems like a games room to me. Will's LA property is full of extras too, like a soccer field and a simply shaped swimming pool, while the playground likely came in handy with the kids. The lot offers vast botanical gardens and rolling lawns to occupy those acres, and in usual celeb fashion, the entire place is protected with top of the line surveillance systems. One odd thing that was reported about Will's property was the electric pole sitting right smack in front of the home, with power lines moving in every direction. Not very glam. It's an eyesore to say the least, and maybe it's what prompted Will to invest in the 
the solar panels on his estate. Aside from that, I'd say his family home in LA is pretty charming. But let's take a look at his Manhattan spot. Back on the East Coast, Farrell owns a loft in Lower Manhattan and sounds like it's a step up from his starter apartment here in the SNL days. Since he's often joined the Five Timers Club of Saturday Night Live host since he left way back in 2002, it's no surprise he still likes spending time in New York City and having this gorgeous apartment to call home. While this place was never officially on the market, it's reported Will paid $4.2 million for the loft on West 13th Street back in 2010 and proceeded to completely redesign the place. The building itself was converted from a Victorian era printing factory and Will's unit spans 2,800 square feet, featuring exposed brick and ceiling beams to complement a black and white design backdrop. Basically, it's very New York. The apartment has three bedrooms as well as an open concept kitchen, living, and dining area. Back in 2013, Will's contemporary home was even featured in Architectural Digest, where he showed off the space he shares with his wife and three kids. Once the interior designer was done with the place, they turned the apartment from something dark and outdated into a loft that's bright and sophisticated. The place was gutted and they used as much original materials in the redesign as possible. While it took three years to complete, it was well worth it. The outdated bathrooms were replaced and so was the kitchen, which now has granite counters, a zinc backsplash, and appliances like a sub-zero fridge. There are also designer light fixtures over the table and some modern art to accent the room. One of the living rooms has a black and white color scheme with boudoir style seating and a fireplace while the other has an exposed brick wall, a gray sectional, and large sunny windows. The maple flooring in the loft was whitewashed, a treatment making them more soft and neutral. While the master bedroom isn't exceptionally large, they make use of the space with built-in shelving on either side of the bed. The attached bath is decked out in glass and marble. Cheerful accents are all around Will's apartment and the choices of art make the place super upbeat. The designer Henderson had said, Even though there are these great pops of color, the apartment feels very balanced, very soothing. And in the end, I feel like that is what a busy Hollywood star like Will would want. All right, so I think I'm gonna bring this house tour to an end there. These are the only two homes we know of funny man Will Ferrell living at, and it seems that when he likes a place, he stays put. Unlike other celebrities who buy and upgrade their homes nearly every year, he stayed at his current spots for at least a decade. After checking out his Hollywood family home he bought from Ellen DeGeneres and his super stylish loft in Manhattan, which of the two is your fave? I'll always pick a house with some land over an apartment, so for that reason, I'm gonna choose his LA abode. While we couldn't see many recent pictures, I'm sure these days, Will and his fam have modernized and updated the home even further. And for those of you watching who think I don't read your comments, think again. I read them all and I've been loving the feedback on these celeb houses. I love to hear which ones you guys liked or didn't like. I also have been getting a ton of the great requests you guys send for celebrities like Celine Dion, Reese Witherspoon, Jack Black, and many more, and I'm taking notes. If these aren't up yet, keep your eye out because I'm getting to work on all of them. If you haven't, please like and subscribe to my personal channel where I post a new video every Sunday. Leave me a comment on my latest video and we can chat there. I just did one preparing for Christmas. It's time for my Christmas house tour. Well, kind of. Oh my gosh, cut! What is that annoying noise? That being said, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays everyone, and now we can all go watch Elf. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you guys want to see. I'll see you all in a brand new video. Bye!